giving your guns to your kids when you die has to be documented. The Democrats have a list of everybody who has guns so they can come get them later. That's why they want universal background checks. And it happened yesterday. And stupid, dopey, dumbass Republicans signed on. I, it, it, it's, it's really the stupidity is unfathomable. It really is. What, you trusted the Biden administration after you signed this disastrous gun law? You trusted them to restrict their expansion of the FFL to only legitimate FFLs who may have been skirting the law? Are you insane? Biden just told you what he wants to do. He told Merrick Garland, the attorney general, to use the law I warned you about nine months ago to make basically everyone an FFL because they couldn't get a background check, universal background check law passed because smart Republicans figured out what was up. Dumb ones signed right on and now gave them a very opaque law to earn a profit by selling guns. That could mean anyone, as I warned you about. And the Biden administration yesterday said, go make it mean anyone. I want to get to the bank thing, but just quickly, another attack on the Second Amendment, too. It's a great piece. It's in my newsletter today, Bongino.com slash newsletter. Remember, what they can't do legally, the Democrats, they will do illicitly, immorally, and extra constitutionally. Can't get a background checklist passed just to make every button an FFL, and you'll have to do a background check. How, by law? No, of course not by law. We'll use an executive order. This is what Democrats do. So Democrats who want to take away your guns are also now using public nuisance lawsuits, suing everyone claiming guns are a public nuisance to basically make it impossible to buy, purchase, own, or sell a firearm anywhere. Read this article. They're never going to stop. This is lawfare. That's what this is. Warfare, warfare using the law. They will never stop. That's why I can't encourage you in strong enough terms to get out of states that don't respect your civil liberties. Folks, I get it. Did I have to stay and fight? I, I, I totally understand. You do you. I'm just telling you, you're not going to be able to stay and fight when they're taking your money and your right to defend yourself away. You'll find yourself dead. Get to a state that respects your ability to protect yourself. All right, let's get to the story today. Folks, I warned you yesterday that Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank were not the only financial, financial enterprises out there that were in trouble. Why? Because the FDIC chairman himself, back on March 6th, Martin Grunberg, he warned that the problem with 